All right, guys. So if you are a Beyond Me investor, the shares are down more than 80% year to date. And it looks like they're introducing this thing called Beyond Stakes. So it's probably just a sequel to uh, their Beyond Meat products. And I'm not sure if they're introducing this Beyond Steak because they're down 80% or it's just something that they're rolling out. But in one of my videos where I talk about what sectors are good to invest in during the recession, and food products was one of those categories. No matter what type of market we're in, people are always gonna need to eat, right? So I think it's almost always safe to invest in a quality food brand during any type of market. Now, these stocks are not good for growth, food stocks, but it's good for stability. In times where we're not certain where the market's going to go, we know that people are always gonna eat food. Now, Beyond Meat is a little special because it caters to people that don't eat meat. And just recently, I would say in the last two to three years, people are more focused on eating healthy. Recently, I went to the cardiologist after I got COVID, I was going to get things checked out. He said that Beyond Meat products are actually not the healthiest. I believe they contain a lot of sodium, sugar, and things like that. They're not as healthy as people think. But again, it's an alternative to meat. So people that want to move towards a healthier diet are moving to products like Beyond Meat. So let's see why Beyond Meat is down 80% year to date, because I want to see what the reason is. All right, so the article starts off by saying Beyond Meat is out with its newest plant-based meat, Beyond Steak. The frozen food comes in seared bite-sized pieces and can be prepared in a skillet or air fried in five minutes. Meant for meat lovers, and flexitarians alike. The product contains no GMOs or added antibiotics and hormones. Per serving, it includes 21 grams of protein and zero milligrams of cholesterol. In a press release, Beyond Meat Chief Innovation Officer Durish Ajami said the launch is a highly anticipated expansion of its beef lineup which also includes burgers, beef, sausage, and meatballs. We're proud to introduce this innovative product to consumers nationwide. Beyond Steak is available nationwide at Walmart, Kroger, plus select Albertsons, a whole divisions, and other U.S. retailers. I don't know the last two. I'm familiar with Walmart and Kroger, but not the other two. All right, so it says the product launch comes as shares of the company are under pressure down nearly 80% year to date. Last week, the brand announced plans to cut 19% of its global workforce. This included letting go its chief operating officer, Doug Ramsey, who was arrested in late September for allegedly biting a man's nose inside Arkansas's parking garage following a University Arkansas football game. On October 18, Beyond Meat and plant-based food maker Don Lee settled a dispute over a previous partnership after a nearly three and a half year battle. Both companies entered into a confidential written settlement agreement and mutual release according to court filings both sides are satisfied with the outcome all right it doesn't really get into why the the stock price is going down now it does mention this lawsuit with don lee and it looks like he's a, a plant-based food maker and he had some type of lawsuit with beyond me i'm not sure if it's over some type of recipe or something like that but this is probably what the stock price is reacting to maybe investors know a lot more about this guy don lee and started to sell off shares because of that but the article doesn't really get into the specifics but my overall opinion of beyond me i think it's a good product i tried their burgers i think i tried their plant-based beef as well and all my experiences with this product has been good it tastes really well and it's a substitute for meat right so typically when i eat their products compared to an actual, let's just say like a burger, I don't feel as like bloated. And the taste is really good. It's like really similar to meat, which is kind of weird. But again, like I said, it does have a lot of sodium and things like that. So I think it's healthier than meat, but it's not the healthiest option. But it still comes pretty close for people that don't want to eat meat. If they keep rolling out products like the steak and things like that, I think after this lawsuit rolls over, which it said it has, right? It says both sides are satisfied with the outcome. So I think after the recession, this stock will pick up nicely. Not financial advice, but typically the food stocks, especially this one, it's kind of innovative, right? I know they have like the Impossible Burger and things like that, but Beyond Meat is like, 
one of the first in its category. And a lot of the plant-based restaurants and restaurants that offer plant-based options uses beyond me so yeah keep up with this stock and if it makes sense for you after you do research and things like that maybe it's something you add to your portfolio now if we look at the stock price um it's down a lot it was it's at 14 dollars and 22 cents and i think it just went public recently right and when i say recent recent for me is like two to three years right specifically in the stock market uh, that doesn't pertain to everything, but it's fairly recent that it went public. When it went public 2019, looks like it started at $66, $67, and then it went all the way up to $176. Now it's at $14, right? So if it is a stock that comes back, because uh, it looks like it's a good product, and right now people are opting towards a more healthier option when it comes to food so if they do make it through the recession this could be a good stock that bounces back but again this is not financial advice that's the video if you guys like the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one take care